I'm Alexander, Alexander Kölken, I'm, I'm from Berlin Partner, a public-private partnership. Uh, working, we are working for the state of Berlin and trying to uh, convince companies to come to Berlin and trying to be helping them establishing their businesses in Berlin so that they can, from Berlin, conquer Germany and Europe, basically, with their products or services. And how important is Berlin right now for Europe in terms of like other cities? I think Berlin is probably the fastest uh, developing city in, 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 in Europe right now regarding that. Um, last year, um, a German website, maybe a little bit comparable to, uh, to measurable uh, Deutsche Startups, so they just they did, a, did a survey and they found out that Berlin has the highest number of startups in Germany. Mm -hmm. And this and our experience with many companies from the IT and web scene yeah. coming to, to Berlin was uh, basically the reason why we for more than two years now are at the O'Reilly web conferences and expos with booths like here in New York where we are today and uh, we have very interesting talks today so uh, I think that we additionally to the companies which are being founded in Berlin and coming from other cities in Berlin uh, we will have um, many US companies coming hopefully and op opening up a European branch of the city. So is, is there a certain kind of company that you're targeting? I mean, how do you market? Yeah, I think the, the right, uh, the company, they have to have a successful product or service. Uh -huh. They have to have uh, enough experience and they have they have uh, to have enough experience on the US market so that they can actually concentrate on, on other markets in different languages. Uh -huh. and, um, Sometimes uh, companies, particularly in the U.S., have a very U.S.-centric view of the business. So, because the U.S. is such a huge, a huge market that you can be very profitable alone with being in the U.S. and serving some other English-speaking countries. But uh, some countries forget, uh, some companies forget that uh, there's a whole other world outside. Um, I think the best example for me is always eBay because they have uh, more than 1,000 employees uh, in, in, in Berlin or at the, at the outside of Berlin. And I think uh, Germany is the single, single uh, most successful uh, market outside of the US. And when, how long has Berlin Partners been around? When, when was the concept sort of created? I think uh, it's like it happened at the same time uh, like in all these other cities a little bit, like in the late 90s. Uh, Thousand and we of course we experienced the crash as well. But since Berlin itself is developing very fast after the unification after 1990, now like for 15 years, uh, we have the advantage of not only the web scene developing there, but the whole atmosphere, the whole creati creativity in Berlin is developing very fast. And uh, and we still have a very low uh, cost for everything from rent to wages. So it's an ideal um, an ideal atmosphere for other companies who wanna who wanna start a branch offices or for people who just wanna follow up and create a creative idea and just wanna be themselves and uh, yeah, there's enough it's a playground for creative people. And here in the US we have sort of like Silicon Valley and we have like this little bubble. Is that the same in Germany? Is there it's, sort of uh, like a it's the same but on a smaller size. I think the Silicon Valley itself has been the numerous times it's, it's unique in the world, basically, uh, on the size uh, and from the creativity. Um, so Europe is, uh, the, 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 the areas are much more dispersed, but I think the, 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 one of the hotspots is, is definitely Berlin. Mm -hmm. And uh, particularly in, in, in Germany for everything which is uh, social media, digital media, uh, creative uh, and new, I would say it's Berlin. What other cities are like your top competitors? Would it be like the UK? Like in, uh, yeah, yeah. In, in, in Germany, um, other cities like for, for the IT, in my opinion, it, it's still Munich, of course. Everybody knows Munich and the Oktoberfest, mm -hmm. uh, and of course Hamburg. Um, and uh, in, uh, in Europe, um, it's difficult to say that uh, for US companies, it's still London or Great Britain, mm -hmm. sometimes Paris, sometimes Amsterdam. Uh, but I think for a certain type of people, there's only Berlin sometimes. So. so what are some of the advantages that these companies would have um, if they joined Berlin Partners? Like what and so what we would have them is anything except doing their business. That's the only thing they have to do themselves. But uh -huh. we had them setting up a company. We 
solve any visa issues or work permit issues. We find them people, we subsidize people. And Berlin and the neighboring state of Brandenburg together, we offer up to 50% of uh, subsidies for capital investment. So it means if a company sets up uh, servers or whatever for $100,000 a year, um, the, the states uh, of Brandenburg or Berlin are, are able to give them either 35 or 50% of, of subsidies for this. So that's quite a, it's quite a big offer and I know that Ireland has profited from similar subsidy programs very well mm -hmm. and they have, I think they find themselves in a very good situation uh, and um, I think I see the same uh, thing for Berlin. And what, what are some, those are some incentives to get people to go, but are there any disadvantages on why people should not be focusing on Germany? Well, this advantage is you have to prepare. It. That's the thing. Sometimes companies look at uh, the UK for the first time when they come from the US because it's obvious for language reasons. But I think if you want to really go to Europe, you should go to continental Europe mm -hmm. because that forces you to localize your product. And that means you have not only to have a different language, but also different customs and culture. And I think you have to be in mind that that is necessary. So mm -hmm. you can come to Berlin and survive not knowing any word of German, that's no problem. Mm -hmm. But if you want to be really successful, you have to learn a little bit, or you have to have your higher people on the ground to, who speak German and English. Mm -hmm. But I think you can get around with no German at all, even mm -hmm. the bus drivers know basic English so that you can really live and survive. And are, is Berlin Partners looking to expand at all, or just like stay rooted to... Our company? Yeah. Uh, we are public-private partnerships, so we work for the state of Berlin, okay. and uh, that means we can work free of charge for our customers, for the investors. Mm -hmm. And uh, so for the foreseeable future, uh, I still see us traveling from expo to conference to, uh, to do our own events to attract the attention and to follow up on the, on the leads and uh, you know, talk to companies and people. Great. Um, well, are there any other things that are in the works right now that we should be expecting that are for the future? Well, maybe if you want to look around at the conference here, there are some companies who either are on, a, on their way to come from Germany, to come to New York and to go on the US market. And um, there are, no, there's nothing I can tell you right now. That's a disadvantage in my job, that there are many leads and contacts. Uh, I can only tell you when it has happened already, because we are always under non disclosure. So it's a little unpredictable? It's no, not unpredictable. It's uh, I'm not allowed to talk about it because uh, the companies want to keep it quiet until they are really there. Yeah, and then even yeah. sometimes they don't, for obvious reasons, they don't want to say that uh, that we, we have had. So, um, but um, if you want any example, I can send you enough uh, companies who have been happy working with us. So no okay. Anything else you want to add? <laughs> oh, I wish you a successful conference. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.